Hello, and welcome to another Caring Counts episode. Our goal with these Caring Counts episodes is to connect people in memory care, because the more connections you have, the more support you have, both with your struggles and your successes, and support is a wonderful thing. Caring Counts, these are brought to you by Applewood Our House. Well, welcome to another episode. Thank you for being here. We're super excited to be doing another one of our Caring Counts live episodes. Today, we have Alan Weingarten and Malou Van Eyck from Applewood Our House. Malou, Alan, thank you for being here. Thanks for uh, coming on the show. Thanks, Taylor. Thank you. It was a little scary, but we're excited to be here. I know, going live is kind of kind of cool, kind of scary. But we're, we're excited you're here. Um, I would love to, our audience to get to know both of you just a little bit more. So, Alan, I'd love to start with you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay. Um, let's see. I'm a, a father of uh, two sons who are in their 20s and uh, seem to be growing up. We're proud of them. Uh, my wife is a retired attorney, and uh, I guess I spent my career mostly in real estate and uh mortgage lending, and then kind of got into the uh, uh, senior living space about 10 years ago. Great, great, awesome. And and what was it about the senior living space that kind of drew you in? Well, it was sort of by accident. I don't know if you remember, Malou, we thought it was a real estate investment and not a business. And so we were looking for real estate investments. So I would, I guess we got in by accident. That's funny. I, I get that a lot sometimes from people who kind of say memory care kind of found them, senior care kind of found them. And then once, once it found them, they, they didn't let go. They they found a passion for it and a love for for the residents. So that's that's great. Malou, let's move on to you. Will you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, I also have two boys, and one is now married. And my husband works in uh, recreation and loves to challenge himself with all kinds of crazy endurance things. <laughs> and I've had three careers. I worked with Marriott hotels, and then real estate. And then with Alan for the last 10 years. That's great. Well, thank you both for sharing those things. I appreciate it. Um, so let's let's dive into the senior care portion of it, the memory care, because that's that's what we do here at Applewood. We're memory care. Alan, why why memory care? Why, why, how did it start? How did it come to fruition? Well, it sort of started uh, by again by accident. Uh, we thought that we wanted to do assisted living, and we pictured, you know, grandma coming to live with us, and uh, and we didn't really have anything that made us unique, and so we uh, someone suggested memory care, and so we started on that path, and then we began to sort of embrace it. And, and I must tell you at the beginning, the our residents scared me because they weren't uh, like my grandmother. And, uh, but over time, I sort of fell in love with them and learned that they're just at a different spot in life and they communicate differently and have different needs. And so we fell in love with them and really started caring about them. And so uh, that's, uh, you know, I, I think of several of them right now and getting hugs and smiles and connecting with them that uh, I learned that they weren't broken and that they were very special people uh, that I could love and care for. And uh, that kind of warmed my heart. And so then it went from being a business to sort of a passion to care for wonderful people that maybe society and even in some cases families don't really understand because 
they're different, but we knew they were okay and we could love and care for them just the way they were. So that is sort of how we went from a business idea to uh, caring for a very special part of the population. I love, I want to kind of pull on some strings that you, you were talking about there around meeting people where they are, um, whether that be dementia, Alzheimer's, or, or anything else kind of meeting. We did a Facebook Live with Tipa Snow um, a few weeks ago, and she, that was, she really opened my eyes to meeting someone where they are and caring for them in that spot, in that world. And I think what you said uh, sums it up really nicely with caring for someone with Alzheimer's and dementia is, is meeting them where they are. Great. So, Malou, can I pose kind of the same question to you? Um, how, how did you find memory care? Or I guess maybe, maybe a better question, how did memory care find you? Well, um, like Alan said, our, our first attempt at working and, and finding a place that would suit what our vision was, was, was that it was a home. Um, we realized that some of the facilities are, are more like bigger places and there's a lot of people that enjoy that. But for memory care, it was so valuable to have a home-like setting you know, with a dog and with a yard and they could walk around the backyard by themselves, but they are secure so that people are safe. And that's that's a big, um, you know, important piece for us. And again, the care teams make the house. I mean, doing real estate for years, when you help somebody find a house, they walk in the front door and they know, they know that it's the house they want because of the energy. And the same thing happens for memory care. When, when we have the ability to have visits, you, you walk in and you feel the energy in the house. And even now with our residents and, you know, there's not a lot of visitation going on, but they are, they are friends. They are their own advocates as well as their friends advocates in the house and they, they really enjoy each other's company. So there's a community that you're creating for people to enjoy a quality of life. Yeah, a high quality of life, some, someone you're caring for. I, that's great. And I think what you said is, it sums it up very nicely. Um, the feeling of the home and things like that. That's fantastic. Yeah. And one of one of Applewood, our house's kind of mottos or or taglines, if you will, for lack of a better term, is moments and memories. Alan, what does that mean to you? Well, I guess what I see it as is it's a responsibility because many of our residents, you know, are in their 80s and 90s and, uh, and in some cases over 100. And so, uh, the moments and memories is a very special responsibility that we have because a certain number of our residents were coming up on Labor Day and a certain number of our residents, this will be their last Labor Day. And so we have a special responsibility to make this a good one and create memories. And, and that's using a holiday as an, a, a place. But, uh, you know, uh, uh, one of my friends recently just passed away, and so it, it kind of has, a, we have a heightened awareness of making each day a good day. And who mentioned about having dogs? And so it's about that, that uh, in one case we had a dog and it had, I think, six, it was a black lab, and it had six names. And each one of our, of our six residents had a, a different name for this black lab. And it just meant something special, but it created a warm heart. And, uh, and that's what it, it's about, creating joy and memories in each day. And that hugging a, a dog makes it, or seeing one of our residents sitting on the floor and the dog coming over and licking her face. or it means, you know, having a 4th of July celebration with noisemakers and those kinds of things because each day is precious. 
And so we have to make sure that we have fun and celebration. And again, we can't do some of the things that other people traditionally do, but we can make a good day. And um, and it maybe means dancing. Even if you haven't danced in 40 years, uh, it means uh, eating ice cream. It means uh, sitting at the counter and drinking coffee with your friends or walking around the backyard or planting some vegetables. So those are all the memories or hugs, um, you know, so it's, it's the little things that I think create the true memories. And uh, so I guess, I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but that's what it means to me. That makes total sense. And I love that you said it's the little things. People, I think, sometimes think we have to do these big grand gestures for to make things special. And when we do these little things, all these little things kind of coincide with each other and pile on each other. And that creates those moments and memories. And that is a big thing. So that's that's well said. Well said. Malou, I wanted to pose the same question to you. What is moments and memories I mean to you, and if you can speak a little bit to how it's kind of evolved for us in COVID, when COVID is kind of here with us, uh, what does that mean to you with regards to that? Um, again, like Alan said, I mean, it's it's the little things. It's being able to, you know, be friends with the care team. And our care team has such a heart that they, they, they want to have time with the residents, not, um, it's not just a transaction for a job, it's it's being in a home with a family. And they they really truly enjoy the time that they get to spend with the residents. And um, like Alan said, you know, sometimes it could be towards the end, um, but they still, everything, if if ice cream, if it was cherry vanilla ice cream that, that Joe wanted all his life, he's gonna get that till the last day and he's gonna still have a smile because that's what we do. We, we, well, that's what the care team does. They, they truly enjoy having a family in the house together. Yeah. It, and I think care teams, people that, that do that job and have that position, whether it be Applewood, our house or a different location, I think it takes a really special person and we want to applaud everyone that does that, especially during COVID, making every day special, giving them their favorite ice cream, all those little things that pile on to make one big thing or a couple big things, moments and memories. We love that. So uh, thank you both for those answers. That Those are fantastic. I wanted to ask you kind of, I think we've, we've basically covered this, but any final thoughts on why memory care is important? Alan, let's start with you. Well, I think that it's a, a responsibility that we have that we can honor and care for the for uh, people with challenges. And I call them fragile because all the, the way that they've operated in the past has changed. So everything is changing the way they perceive the world, all those changes. And so they're fragile. And so we have to take we have an opportunity to take care of these fragile people. So it's sort of a, a special assignment. And then Malou said caring. So the team is caring. They go beyond caring. They love the residents and they love them like cho their children. They love them like their grandparents. And so treating them like with extra special care and meeting them where they are, that, um, I th that's sort of our, our calling, is to help and make a difference in the residents' lives and in their families' lives so that they know that they're being loved and cared for and are safe. So uh, I guess that would conclude it for me. Great, thank you. And, and Malou, uh, same question. Any final thoughts on, on why memory care is important? Um, I think um, there's there's a, a, a opportunity to to still have the memories with the residents from maybe longer ago, but also trying to find some of those special little things that were important for them and and how they can still participate even if it's a long term memory versus not having the short term memory, and and you know the care team again sitting with them and being able to to chat with them and learn about them and 
and putting smiles on the residents faces and then giving them hugs to you know make them feel loved i think putting smiles on the residents faces the little things the big things the moments and memories i think that all sums it up really well i want to thank you both for for coming on this facebook live with me today um it's been absolutely wonderful a good conversation I wanted to remind everyone as well that are watching, we wanted to let everyone know that we have our annual Caring Counts event. Um, it's coming in October. This year is uh, this year's event will be all online. It's all complimentary. It's Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. We're on Zoom at noon. So it's easy to remember. You can join us each day in October, October 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, and 16th for our Caring Counts Alzheimer's and Dementia Conference. We're super excited with this because our goal is to connect people in memory care. You want a team around you. That's why it's called a care team. And we, we believe that through and through. You can register for this complimentary online event um, via our Facebook page. We'll also post the link in the chat. Again, Malou, Alan, thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. Everyone, we'll see you next Wednesday for our, or not next Wednesday, in two Wednesdays. We'll see you then for our next Caring Counts Live episode. Thank you for being here and, and have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.